Now in today's top sports news, I'm going to give you guys a rundown of the recent Baseball Hall of Fame induction. On Sunday, six of Major League Baseball's brightest stars of the last three decades were inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in a three-hour ceremony at Clark Sports Center in Cooperstown, New York, before an audience of 48,000 people. This was the third largest crowd ever seen at this event, right? So quickly, I'm going to run through the inductees. First up, we have Greg Maddox. Now, he was active from 1986 to 2008, and he received the most votes for his induction. Now, the peak of his career was from 1992 to 2002, during which he mostly played for the Braves. His 104.6 runs per win as a pitcher ranks 8th amongst all hurlers in the history of the game. Next up is Tom Glavine. Now he received the second highest number of votes for his induction into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Now Glavine, who pitched alongside Maddox in Atlanta for 10 years, was the second most recent pitcher to eclipse the 300 win platoon and finish with 305. This crafty lefty appeared on an impressive number of 10 All-Star teams during his 22-year career. Next up is Frank Thomas. Now Frank spent 19 years in the major leagues during which he was a formidable batter known for hitting for power and getting on base. He was named the American League MVP in 1993 and 1994 and was selected for five consecutive All-Star teams. Other inductees on Sunday were all honored for their amazing careers as managers in the major leagues with thousands of wins under their belts. These are Tony La Russa, Bobby Cox, and Joe Torre, who each hold the records for third, fourth, and fifth most wins of any manager in the history of the sport, respectively. I want to know, do we have any baseball fans here? Who do you think should be nominated the next time the Baseball Hall of Fame is having an induction? And also, what's your favorite team? Let me know in the comments down below.